One of my favorite automation tools online is If This Then That. If This Then That creates simple connections between the services you use every day. With If This Then That, you're able to create applets that trigger a chain of reactions when you link your accounts on IFTTT.com. And when I say services, I mean a wide spectrum of apps, platforms, social media networks. For example, say you post an image to Instagram. With If This Then That, you can use an applet that triggers any Instagram photo to be posted to your WordPress blog, tweet it out on your Twitter, and more. So first head over to ifttt.com and create an account for your business. Once you're signed in, click your username in the top right corner and click services. Before you can start linking accounts with if this then that, we need to sign in to our various services. As you can see, I've linked my Facebook page, Twitter, and WordPress blog to this if this then that account. But I want to add my Instagram account too. So let's click the search icon from the top nav bar. As you can see, right on this search page, the Instagram service is right there. But let's still search for it. So the search will bring up both services relating to the Instagram app and applets that use the Instagram app. We just want to add the Instagram service for now. So click that app. Now all we need to do to start using if this then that applets that will pull data, media, and more from our Instagram account is just click connect to connect your Instagram account with if this then that.com. So once you click that connect button, you'll be redirected to Instagram. Here you'll be prompted to sign in with your Instagram account and then you'll click that authorize button to enable if this then that access to your Instagram account. The next great tab for finding new and highly recommended applets is the Discover tab in the top left corner. These same applets you find on the Discover page, you can find under the Search page as well, but this Discover page is nice for browsing and finding things nicely grouped by genre. Next, let's discuss these applets. Let's start by clicking the My Applets tab in the top nav bar. Applets work to connect all your favorite services, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. Now I've been on the site for quite a while and if this then that used to call these applets recipes. I still prefer that name because that truly is what these are. Recipes that combine varying online services. So an example recipe would be if you post a picture to Instagram then it will also be posted to your Twitter account. So when you think of applets Think of them as if this then that recipes. So to get started linking these services and applets together, just click that search tab to search for both of these items. When I initially create an if this then that for a client, I minimally link all their social media accounts and any blog they own to their if this then that account. So let's search Twitter. As you can see, once you search a keyword, it'll bring up both services you can sign into for your specific business, and below that, it'll bring up applets that are already created by other users that link with that service. So let's click the Twitter service option first. When you click the service, you'll be redirected to that specific service page. As you can see, the large connect button isn't available like it was for Instagram. So you can tell I've already connected this service to my if this then that account. So now look below the top half of the page. You can see all these applets that are based within the Twitter service itself. These applets or recipes take specific actions within your own Twitter account. Like look at the center option. Tweet Happy New Year. Now I hope you were out partying when the clock strikes 12 on New Year's, but this cool applet enables you to automatically tweet Happy New Year at midnight. Pretty unique applet, huh? Looks like you're engaged with your following around the clock. So now let's click back to our original search for the keyword Twitter. The applets in this initial Twitter search are applets that not only use Twitter but other services as well. 
So scroll through the applets to see if any pre-built recipe catches your eye. As you can see in the bottom section of each applet, first in the bottom left is the total number of users using this applet. This is my first indicator that this is a legit applet and something I may want to use as well. See the applet in the top left? 470,000 if this then that users are using this applet. There must be something to this applet if that many people are using this applet. Next in the bottom right corner, you can tell which service you searched for originally by the phrase works with and then that specific services logo. As you can tell, I search Twitter and all these applets work with that service. So let's look at this top left applet again. Tweet your Instagrams as native photos on Twitter. When I post on a client's Instagram, if, if I simply toggle the post to Twitter option within Instagram, this will not post the photo to Twitter, rather just a link to your Instagram photo. This is no good for shareability. So what this if this then that applet does is tweet your Instagram photos as native photos on Twitter. This is a great applet I use for all my clients. I do want images in my Twitter feed. So I use this applet on if this then that to connect my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So when I post an image on Instagram, this applet, because I turned on this applet, it automatically triggers and posts that Instagram image as an image uploaded to a tweet and pulls the Instagram caption as the tweet text content. So what a great way to get bang for your buck. I posted once on Instagram, boom, same photo, same caption, automatically posted to my Twitter. So let's install this applet now. Just simply click on it anywhere. Once you click the applet you're interested in, it's on this specific applet page where you will toggle the app on or off. So click that turn on button. So now that the applet is on and running, Scroll up on this applet page so we can see the settings for this specific applet. Click that settings icon at the top right corner of the applet. So it's on this page that you can tweak your applet to do other things or just delete the applet altogether from your if this then that account. So as you start to install many applets, you may get confused as to which ones do what. So I always like to go to this applet settings page to see the long description for the applet. As you can see, this one's long description is Instagram photos will show up in your Twitter feed as a full image rather than a link. Now let's scroll down to the lower half of this settings page. On the bottom half of this applet settings page, you can edit the applet to your likings. Most highly used applets, I don't even touch. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? But as you can see, you can add and delete ingredients to this applet. See, it's like a recipe. Just click the plus ingredient button next to the service feature you want to edit. For example, the tweet text is a feature of this Twitter applet as it is taking the caption from the Instagram post and using it as the text content for the tweet. Now I personally love Instagram as a posting base for my clients. Most of them find that app the easiest to post from. It's simple, it's mobile, a very easy app to teach them. So I set their if this then that account up so Instagram is the initial catalyst for all their posts. For example, they post to Instagram, it automatically posts to Twitter, it posts to their Facebook page, it pins to their Pinterest, and so on. Here's a screen grab from one of my clients. I have two applets installed already for them, and they're based solely around posts coming from their Instagram account. So when they post a new photo to Instagram, because I have linked my clients' Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest social media accounts with their if this then that already, and I've installed or turned on these two applets, if this then that, will automatically post 
any new Instagram image. First, to my client's Twitter account as a native photo. And then second, automatically pin that Instagram image to my client's Pinterest account. So now do you see why I love if this then that? They can simply post one image to Instagram with a caption. But if this then that takes that same photo and caption and shares it to two other social media accounts. This is a huge time saver. You can also create your own applet. Just click the My Applets tab and then click that New Applet button. Truly, I have only created a handful of new applets. But for a few developer clients, I've actually helped establish their brand by affiliating their username with all these awesome applets created by them. But like I've shown you, you can find a ton of pre-made applets via the search function on If This Then That. So once you click that New Applet button, you'll be directed to the Applet Maker page. So in the If This Then That phrase, click that blue plus sign. The first step is to choose a service. What service do you want to build your custom applet around? For this example, let's use a WordPress blog. So I searched WordPress, now click that service icon. For step two, you need to pick your trigger. If, what? So for this recipe, my if will be any new post to that WordPress blog. So now we're halfway there. So let's look at our phrase so far. If we post a new WordPress blog, then what? We need to choose our that. So again, click the blue plus sign so again, click the blue plus sign before that in this if this then that phrase. Step three, we choose our action service. What are we linking with our new WordPress post? For this applet example, I want all new WordPress posts to automatically post to my Facebook page. So I'll search for the service Facebook. Now, as you can see, there are two Facebook service options here. The first one, Facebook, will link with your personal Facebook profile, while the second one, Facebook Pages, will link with just your Facebook pages. We want our new WordPress post to auto post to our Course Envy Facebook page. So let's select that option. Step four, we will choose the action for this service. We want to share our new WordPress blog post to our Course Envy page via a link. So we click the Create a Link Post option. For step five, you'll create the action fields. You can add ingredients or input standard text you want displayed with every post like this. See my example on the right? I simply added the text, check this out, after the ingredient WordPress post URL. When ready, click the Create Action button. For the final step, simply review your new applet steps and ensure it's what you wanted. You can also customize the name of this applet with up to 140 characters. Once you're satisfied, scroll down and click Finish. The cool thing I like about creating applets is the branding you get from your username. So see Course Envy here? Like I mentioned that developer, this is the chance for other if this then that users to find your applet via the search results and use it. Now be sure to check out CourseEnvy.com slash IFTTT. This is a post I constantly update with my favorite If This Then That applets.